Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Alice and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Melbourne, Australia. Now it is September, which means it's finally spring. Yay! Um, so still a bit of cold, still a bit of winter still lingering a little bit, but I'm glad um, to have spring, even with my hay fever. Give me some warmer weather, please. All right, so the blossoms um, have been blooming around here, as I see when I go for my walks. So that's the inspiration for today's card. So what you'll need is a um, half a sheet of cardstock. I'm making mine a top folding card and I'm using it in the petal pink. Um, so I know the blossoms aren't really in this color, but that's okay. Um, I just felt like it should be a nice soft pink and that's what we have. Um, we're, we're using the Sweet as a Peach stamp set bundle today, both the dies and the stamp set. Um, I did pre-stamp a few pieces and cut them just to make it a little bit um, quicker so the video doesn't go for too long, but I will show you how I stamp the blossoms. Okay, so the other elements you will need, and I will pre-warn you, this is not one of my more basic cards. This one is pretty intricate. For me, it is anyway. Um, so for those that are looking for a simple card, probably not this one. Um, as I started designing this card, it just got more and more intricate and I just started adding extra layers and extra bits to it. So just a pre-warning, it's not one of your, you know, a card that you'd just, you would bulk make um, or mass produce. All right, so um, enough to chat. So I did, um, for my first layer, I've used some basic white and I have um, embossed this already with the Tasteful Textiles um, embossing folder. So that will be my first layer. I am also bringing in a piece of the paper lattice, which was from the, I think, Plentiful Plants product suite. Um, so that's going to be my next layer. So I'm just going to build my layers first and then get with some intricate um, bits at the end. Um, next, I use the largest of the Stitch So Sweetly Scalloped Frame. And I've just used the um, Designer Series paper from the Sweets of Peach uh, sweet um, and I'm just using the blue polka dot side because we have a lot happening I didn't want the um, prints but that is beautiful that's some beautiful peaches there so that will go on as there so um, let's just glue this all on with some um, Tombow okay so I'm just using my favorite liquid Tombow glue just to adhere all those pieces um, so what about you guys what season is it for you where you are and what is your favourite season? I absolutely love warmer weather, so I am kind of glad that winter's gone, but I know some of you love winter. Um, my kids much prefer the colder weather to the warmer weather, but I definitely um, love it when it's warm and I thrive more in the spring and summer. So, And spring is just absolutely beautiful anyway around here with a lot of the blossoms. Um, you sort of see more flowers blooming as well. So uh, definitely one of my favourites as long as well as summer here. Okay, so I'm just bringing in the other elements now. Um, this is the branches that were stamped in the pear pizzazz. Um, so I've also used the matching die cut to cut that piece, uh, those pieces out. And I'm just bringing in my um, sentiment piece in the basic white. I think that's the second smallest piece from the Stitch So Sweetly. And also just bringing in a scrap piece of basic white to stamp our blossoms. So rather than just going straight to ink pad um, to the stamp, I'm actually using the sponge dauber just to have a lighter colour because the petal pink actually is quite dark and I really wanted a soft colour for this. Um, so I'm using my stamping tool just to make sure I can um, go in with that second stamping if I need to in case I've missed an area using this sponge dauber. Obviously I can miss some areas there. So pretty happy with that. Um, although I did put an extra a third stamp on that little flower there because I must have missed a spot and I'm also going to bring in now some uh, Versamark and stamping my center piece so there's a little stamp to piece there I'm actually going to use Versamark so I can actually gold emboss this just to add that little bit of extra wow now before I do so I forgot I thought I'd better bring in my embossing buddy um, just so I don't have too much embossing powder everywhere and hopefully um, you haven't heard too much of my heater just kicked in because it's still cold right now. So just adding some gold embossing powder there and I will die cut it um, and heat emboss that off screen just to save the video being too long. Um, so doesn't that look gorgeous? I actually just love the gold embossing in the center bit there. Just adds that little, little bit of something, something extra. So um, bringing in the next piece now, just going to stamp our sentiment. Um, so in hindsight, I 
feel like the blue probably would have been a little bit better rather than the paper Zaz. It would have just brought in more of that designer series paper. But you live and learn. So if you guys were going to, to replicate this card, I definitely would recommend using the blue ink. Um, I think it's balmy blue to stamp your sentiment. Um, but look, I still think it turned out nice with the uh, paper Zaz anyway. So I've just um, picked the Thanks So Much Sentiment from the Sweet as a Peach um, stamp set as well. So you can never have too many thank you cards. Okay, so that's pretty much most of the stamping done now. So I'll put that ink pad well out of the way so I don't make any mess with it. Um, and we'll just bring in all our elements and start putting our card together. Um, so with the stamp set, it actually does have little um, peach stamps with it which I actually used the other day to make a card and make the um, peaches look like oranges because one of our neighbors down the street actually has um, been putting out a box of um, oranges and mandarins from their garden to the front of their house that we can just take for free and my daughter's been enjoying them so I thought I'll send them a little thank you card um, for that so um, using pumpkin pie I actually then stamped a card and make them look like oranges so if you want to look at that card um, check out my Instagram post so you can sort of see that um, and also if you want the uh, measurements and the supplies that I've used I'll have that in my blog post as well um, so all the information will be in the description box below and as always if you actually want to purchase any of the supplies from me with like an annual catalog um, from stamping up please um, send me an email if you live in Australia I'll definitely would love to post one out um, and answer any questions that you may have Okay, so back to the card here now. So I've brought up both the um, normal size dimensionals and the minis just to get those little um, leaf pieces stuck on. So I'm just using my take a pick tool there as well. Sometimes I do find that a lot easier to pick up my dimensionals. And whilst I'm having that there, I might as well use it to um, take off the backing, backings of the um, dimensionals as well. But you just need to be careful when you are picking them off because um, there are some little tiny pieces there. So you don't want to bend or, or accidentally rip your um, card stock there as well. So just bring in the blossoms as well and you can sort of see on the one side I did um, make a bit of a boo-boo. Um, so you can sort of, but I just flipped the paper around. The paper does have two sides. So when you do make a mistake, you can um, just flip the paper around and stamp on the other side as well. You do get a second chance with paper. So I'm just using the little ones um, to for the little flowers, but the, the, the other two sizes, um, your normal dimensionals are just fine. Now, as I was saying before as well, um, because there are peaches um, with the stamp set, you can actually substitute those little flowers if you don't want flowers um, as peaches instead. So um, definitely some options there for you. Um, but I absolutely love blossoms, especially cherry blossoms. They're absolutely gorgeous. So um, I, I couldn't resist using the um, flowers in this card. And I know cherry blossoms aren't this color, but you know, I think it's a bit hard to sort of stamp white. Um, and I thought that this would go with the um, blue designer series paper as well. But definitely you can use the peaches instead if you wanted to. Okay, so when this was done, I pretty much thought it looks, still looks a little like it needs something. So I did bring out the Expressions and in Ink Ephemera pack. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and I thought I'll just add a few more gold elements. And this is what I meant when I was designing it. I was like, looks a bit plain. Let me just keep adding more. So um, now I did make a bit of a boo-boo here, but I've kept the footage in here. Just sort of, sort of show you guys what I did. Um, keeping it real, people. So I did... Um, initially use dimensionals to glue these um, gold elements to the card but then I realized that it was just couldn't have dimensionals on dimensionals because the peaches and the sorry the blossoms were already uh, popped up on dimensional so I did remove it um, and then just use some liquid glue to um, stick that on um, so if you don't already have the um, expressions in ink ephemera pack do yourself a favor and get some it, they're absolutely beautiful it just adds a bit more extra bling um, to your cards um, it's already been laser cut so it's easy just to pop out and add a bit more um, gold touches to your card and it's part of the expressions and ink product suite and oh my goodness me if you haven't seen that um, definitely check that out too 
the designer series paper in that was just gorgeous. I believe it sold out um, and was on back order. I think it's back available now as well. Um, but that's how popular that one was. Um, so I will have a card coming up soon using the designer series paper in that too. But that paper is just beautiful. Okay, so I've just brought in my card insert as well. Um, so I might as well stamp that while I've got all my stamps out. And I'll be... Um, putting the blossoms there in the petal pink now if you sort of look clearly closely um, I didn't quite line that up properly um, just because of the angle I didn't want to stick my head into the camera view so it is off by a little bit um, but I'm sure the person who received this card won't mind that it's not perfect um, so rather than bring in the gold embossing for our centerpieces this time um, just bring in I think it was grey granite um, just to stamp in the center of the blossoms there Okay, so that's all the stamping done. Let's get that out of the way and bring back our trusty Tombow glue. Um, so I do have a little gem at the bottom of the glue. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, just found it on the floor and didn't know where to put it. So it's just ended up on the bottom of my glue and that's where it stayed. There you go, guys. That's the finished card. So what do you think? There's a lot of gold elements in there. So hopefully you can sort of see all of that. Now, I was going to embellish this, but I think with all the gold embossing, I don't want it to be a bit too much. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are. So that's the inside. So this is in the petal pink. Now, I did make one um, as my template, and I used the Calypso Coral instead, actually. Um, so this is using the Calypso Coral and a bit of Pale Papaya in there. So this one I didn't actually gold emboss. I actually did use a bit of the grey. So I did bring in some champagne gems as well. I actually quite like this one, uh, but I know that, you know, the blossom probably isn't realistic in colour. So I did try to go with a lighter colour just to sort of see what that looks like. Um, so this one's a bit more muted um, and this one's quite bright there. So let me know in the comments below which one was your favourite, Calypso Coral or Petal Pink. Um, but thank you so much for watching to the end. And please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Until next time, everyone. Bye.